guys, this is my newest game I'm going to be making. Uh, VOD actually. It is Fantasy Terran versus Bisu Shield, uh, Protoss. And I was looking forward to getting a game of Bisu because, uh, not only did I want to show you how he plays because he's kind of, uh, he, he got kind of famous by beating uh, Savior 3-0. But also, I wanted to find a good Protoss vs. Terran matchup because these days I've been posting a lot of Zerg vs. Terran vs. Terran vs. Terran vs. Terran vs. Terran but not Protoss vs. Terran. I was also looking for a Protoss vs. Zerg map or a replay, but I really couldn't find any good ones. So if anybody has any su suggestions, I would really uh, like it. So this map is Neo Forte. It is Bisu versus Fantasy. And uh, here comes the first scouting probe. It is going to scout the bottom left corner. Uh, Terran is at the top right, and Bisu is at the left. Looks like he is going to do a standard Dragoon build. And here comes his first scouting SUV here. If you're wondering what these mineral blocks are for, these are so that you can wall off this area unless until you need it. Uh, until late game where you can just mine this off, mine these minerals off and the wall will be incomplete. So it's a very nice map. I think this is the newest, one of the newer versions of Neo Forte. I don't think it used to have this little mineral block here. So Probe is going to scout over here. SCV is scouted here. Uh, Bisu seeing that SCV should turn back right about now, but I guess he forgot or did not see it on his mini map. Uh, yes, he, there. So, this barracks has been lifted to scout. Uh, the main reason is that he's not going to need barracks very early in this game. I think that there may be an SCV down there. Yes, there's an SCV down there. Uh, Zealots will not attack these SCVs, and they cannot be used to target it because of the barracks here. And this Marine will just continue to shoot them. This is a very good strategy, because uh, Zealot Rush is now not coming. So, Bisu is trying to stop the SUV from getting in, but the SUV, being the bigger unit, has uh, more HP. So, it looks like he got some scouting in. Double gate going up, and these dragoons will call off, kill off this SUV before it gets too much scouting. And here is so, it looks like he still, uh, Fantasy still has two SUVs in there. This probe cannot get up, and uh, double factory being created. Ultra speed being created, and then there will be mines, and then siege mode being researched. It looks like Bisu is going to attack soon, or at least put some pressure. Uh, Dragoons without range have very little range, but they are still pretty effective against middle metal. So he's pumping Dragoons right now. Uh, robotics are slowly coming up. This was not seen by uh, by uh, fantasy. Fantasy scouts are being destroyed very quickly. He's trying to send out another one to look for possible expansions or to try and scout for that uh, tech that he did not see. This robotics facility will allow for observers to see vulture and spider mines and it will also allow for shuttles and drops and possibly reavers. Now, Fantasy already has some tanks over here. This map, Neo Forte, has very small amounts of room in its base but it is still enough to get four or five factories that you will need and then you'll have to expand. Dragoons are being placed strategically outside here. Uh, that This is so that these mineral blocks will give a little bit of advantage to the as you can see because the SUV has to go around the mineral block. So these Dragoons can shoot, uh, get a little more hits on first. So it looks like Fantasy is going to either expand or going to try and press down. It looks like he has enough Vultures and units to take out this area. Uh, there's quite a lot of Dragoons here. I'm not sure if he will be able to continue the attack. No mines placed yet. Time will be cancelled. Bisu is going to use this front that he has. And it was cancelled at the very last second. A very good strategy to make your opponent not be able to or uh, be distracted in destroying that and then you cancel at the last second so you can get a refund of some of the money. 
So these dragoons are being retreated back here. Shuttle has been created. Robotic support bay going up. This will allow for vultures. Another pilot has been placed here so that the units cannot get past it easily. Uh, mine's being placed very well, but they are a little too far out. And unless he gets siege mode quite soon, uh, this push will be held off. So it looks like siege mode has been researched, or else he would not be placing his tanks here. Uh, looks like... I'm not quite sure he's doing. Yep, siege mode. But these are going to stand in these, uh, these siege tanks. These pushes are coming in. So they can, uh, come in. He's going to be doing that. He still is losing his, uh, advantage here. These siege tanks are slowly taking out of the area. Now, looks like Reaver is going to be built right at this point. Bisu is going to retreat back up to his ramp, getting some zealots to fend off those pesky tanks and those vulture mines. These vulture mines cannot chase zealots very quickly, and zealots can sometimes get all the way to the enemy before the zealots can explode. And this will hit uh, Fantasy's own units. So he's uh, kind of up in his base right now. Isu is going to use this ramp advantage to stop the Terran push a little bit. But Siege Tank will still be able to shoot back up over the ramp if there is uh, some vision that, that Red will get. Expansion is going to go up. I do not know why he cancelled it. I guess that this... Oh, there was already a Reaver, so it cancelled... It uh, destroyed that... Reaver is going around trying to kill units, uh, but it was destroyed. Uh, so and here comes the attack by B2. He's trying to push out. There is a Reaver being uh, unloaded here in a take out. He took out his tank. Here it goes. Uh, now the attack has been sent it off by B2. The push is now gone. But there are still. There is still a threat of incoming units that will be arriving soon. But I do not know what Red was doing. Uh, his units. He should have a little bit more units at this point. Uh, I guess he was focusing on expanding a little more, uh, but looks like he... Oh, oh, that's why. He got Reaver dropped, and I, I'm, I'm sorry that I missed that. Playing mines are the worst, I guess this, uh, Reaver will not be able to destroy much. But he's using... Visu is using a very good skill, uh, unloading his food first, so it takes a hit. As soon as the, uh, as soon as the scare goes out, he reloads it into the shuttle. Uh, this is a very good micro by Visu. Uh, looks like... The SCVs will be harassed. Okay, so a mine had exploded, but it did not destroy this uh, Reaver. The Reaver did get reloaded back into the shuttle before the mine was able to destroy it. Very nice micro. Looks like he's going to do a hit, and he got one of the uh, vultures. Very close. Mine un unloaded. The Reaver has been destroyed. But it looks like here comes expansion for Bisu. Bisu is getting more Reavers. Looks like another... Uh, Shuttle is loaded with dragoons, and observers are coming in to destroy the minefield that was laid over here. No expansion by uh, the Terran yet. The vulture spider mines being placed everywhere, but here comes the second drop, which includes two dragoons inside. This vulture, this vulture minefield is complete or er, destroyed, but these dragoons are going to destroy these SCVs. SCVs will probably try and attempt to destroy these uh, dragoons. But it looks like Red is doing nothing right now. He's stacking, and now he's attacking. He's stacking, and, uh, but both of the Druids were reloaded before they were uh, damaged too much. Red really needs to get a lot of turrets up, and not only turrets, but he also needs to get a sufficient amount of anti-air and defense. Uh, looks like these tanks are being micro very carefully, trying to take off these uh, Druids, and it was successful. And here comes the attack from the front of the base. That, uh, there's only two tanks over here for defense. Another Reaver drop has been put out. A, a large amount of SCVs have been destroyed. Uh, these SCVs are going to be the disaster because these tanks can no longer defend this area. All the SCVs have been destroyed except for about three. Looks like the last of the SCVs will be destroyed. And there takes about five SCVs. Here comes the rest of the SCVs. There's only three left. Uh, looks like it's GG. I'm not quite sure, but... Uh, looks like it's GG. These reaver drops are putting a lot of pressure because Karen has very little anti-air at this point in the game. And no turrets either. These dragoons are coming up and taking out the rest over here. And the reaver will continue to get a shot over here. GG!